Hey everybody, this is the Marine and Henry. If you're one of those people that find it hard to stay warm during the long winter months, or you're interested in getting more involved in winter activities, or even thinking about giving winter camping a try, in this video we're gonna look at the most important gear to accomplish that. Unfortunately, it's not gonna be about tents, tarps, hammocks, or even stoves but something more crucial, and that's winter clothing. A clothing system that is by far the best to keep you warm during those winter activities, and it's called winter layering. Now I know some of you are gonna say, Marine, who are you to tell me how to clothe myself? My mama taught me when I was a kid, and bundled me up and sent me out in that frozen tundra, but we're gonna look at what mama didn't tell you. The key to winter clothing, be hiking, camping, snowshoeing, or skiing, or any other activity outside, is not only to keep you warm, but also dry. And that means from the element as well as your sweat. I like to start off telling you about some of my experience of learning and using the winter layering system over the years. While attending a winter survival class while serving the United States Marine Corps up near Bridgeport, California, and that's in the Sierra mountain range, and that's when it all started. And over the years, over trial and errors, I'd like to share with you a layering system that has worked very well for me. Now, I believe one of the biggest struggles or problems of the system is knowing how to layer. To understand layering your clothes for outdoor activities, you have to know the function of each layer. Now, there's basically three layers to the system. And the first one is a base layer next to skin or long underwear. And a big misconception with the base layer is people think that it's for insulation, but its main purpose is to wick moisture or sweat off your skin to keep you dry. Now the second layer is a middle layer, which is an insulating layer, and that's just to retain body heat to protect you from the cold. And the last one, the third one, is an outer layer or a shell, and that's just to protect you from the rain, wind, and snow. Now base layer is about regulating your body temperature, which we'll talk about in the next video while wicking away sweat. In the winter months when you're active, it's extra important to keep the perspiration off your skin to keep you dry rather than damp, which will cause you to be cold or even worse. A base layer should be made up of synthetic material or merino wool, which will wick away moisture and dry quickly. Now avoid anything made out of cotton, be t-shirts, sweatshirts, or underwear. Cotton absorbs moisture and stays damp and heavy, and it loses all insulating properties when wet. The thickness of the base layer depends on how cold it is outside and on personal preference. Some people say they like to use fleece. I highly recommend not using fleece because it absorbs moisture. The main purpose, again, is to wick away sweat from your body to keep you dry. Now with the synthetic material in the merino wool base layer, people are gonna ask, which one should they get? This is something you may wanna consider. If you tend to be hot and sweat a lot, or you're gonna be very active on a day trip, then you'd wanna get a synthetic material. But now if you tend to get cold, or you don't sweat as much, or you may be on a multiple day trip where you're gonna be moving during the day and camping during the nighttime, you'd wanna get merino wool, which is also antibacterial, anti-funk. But if you do all those, I highly suggest that you get a merino wool. Now merino wool costs more, but it's really a good investment if you're gonna do this throughout the years. But again, it's personal preference. Now the next layer we're gonna look at is a middle layer, which is critical for maintaining body heat by trapping air close to the body and providing insulation. Generally a warm middle insulation would be made up of wool, fleece, or down. Now wool is one of my favorite fabric or material but for my mid layer, I like to use fleece. And the reason why fleece is because it's less expensive and you can find it readily available in most department store. And if you have a thrift store near you, you can get it for nearly nothing. But I recommend not using down when you're hiking or being very active. And there's two reasons why. 
the first one is because down needs loft to provide insulating value. So by putting on the pack or shoulder straps on there, we'll squish it down and you'll lose some of those properties. And the second one is that down cannot get wet. If it gets wet, then it loses all its insulating properties. So being in between the outer layer and the base layer, which is wicking moisture out, it can become wet. So I recommend not using down when you're hiking, but generally, down is very lightweight and it's also packable and it makes a great insulating layer when you're camping. Now because down is lightweight and packable, when at camp and all your chores are done, down makes a great insulating layer only under a loose jacket though. Now the last layer is the outer layer which is also called the shell layer. And that's to protect you from the rain, snow, and sleet. And most will allow perspiration to escape, but virtually all will have some type of a durable water repellent, which is DWR finish, which will allow water to beat up and just roll off your fabric. Now, if the temperatures are not gonna be sub-zero or negative 15 Celsius or lower, you may wanna choose a waterproof shell or an outer layer with a light layer of insulation. But if you're gonna be hiking or camping at extreme cold temperatures, then you may wanna consider getting a mountaineering jacket or a heavy ski jacket or a wool jacket like this to keep you warm. They can be very pricey, but really they're a good investment if you take care of them. Now an important note, if you plan on buying a heavy ski jacket, a mountaineering jacket or wool jacket like this, you want to wear your base layer, your mid layer, the heaviest layers you got before you try that jacket on. You put that jacket on, you may want to consider getting a jacket the next size up because you want it to be very loose fitting on you to trap that warm air next to your body. Now in the next episode of how to stay warm in cold temperatures or in the winter time, we're gonna look at how to put all this together to help you in any situation. And we're also gonna look at how to regulate your body heat. I've done other episodes like how to keep your hands warm, your feet warm, boots, which ones to buy, and others. If you have any questions or comments, please write them down below. I'd love to hear from you. This is the Marine. Thank you for watching, and God bless. Hey, everybody, this is the Marine and Henry.